in MS Excel, suppose we have a raw data set like this, okay, you can see it on the screen and you want to split it basically in the different different columns. That time we can use this kind of a function, okay. So there are three ways to do it. I will quickly show you that one by one. The data we always available at the time of dashboard creation, at the time of report creation, time of insights driven reports. Okay, that time it is a very helpful for you. So let me just quickly start with this. Okay, suppose your cursor is here and you want to split this data. That time what you can do, let's say this text split function. Okay, and then here you will simply select this. Okay, so once you select that, just say add a comma over here. And then here it's asking a column delimiter to add that. So I will just simply add this kind of an assign over here and again double noted comma once again, let's say comma over here and then double it is completed. I will simply close a bracket like this and once it is done, just simply hit a enter button. Okay. And once you are done with the top one, you just have to simply drag your formula like this. You can see how beautifully we have extracted a messy data into a this kind of a readable format, right? In MS Excel over here. Now let's go for the another method. I will just copy this and paste it over here. And then in the data ribbon tab, there is an option called text to column. Next over here, and uh, let's add a. If in case any other delimiter you have it in your data, you just simply select it. For me, it is a semicolon over here, right? We can see the preview over here. Just say next and then hit a enter button. You can see how beautifully this data has been split automatically. Okay. Now there is a comma also being given, right? It's been merged over here. So in this case, what you can do, let's say control Z and then again, just go a text to column over here. Okay. Say text to column, let's say next. And then since we say comma as well, so we have this comma available next and then finish. Boom. We got a result done and there. Okay. Suppose your data is like this. So that time there is an option available. Use text to import wizard. This you can only select a last data, whatever you have copied inside the cells. Okay. So when you copy this and paste it like this, that time this option will not really available for you. However, when you copy this and paste it inside a cells, that time this option will turn. You just have to simply select this and then let's do a similar fashion. Next, next and then finish. You can see the arrangement you can do it in the MSN cell.